Government identifies sites for relocation, the OECS seeks to retain the produce markets for Dominica, and over 700 students of the Dominica Grammar School received their tablets on Monday. Thank you for joining us on another edition of National Focus. I'm Kadisha St. Louis. And I'm Kimani Serja. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after the break. Thanks for staying with us. Government has identified several locations to resettle those with displaced by Tropical Storm Erica. Prime Minister Skerritt made the announcement at a press conference on Friday. Warner, um, up in Granby, in the Heights Geneva Center area, um, down by the Pietral Secondary School, we, we have several acres of land there. Um, we're also looking at um, Bellevue Chopin. There's some private lands we'd have to acquire. Also, the, someone has about 12 or so acres of land in, in La Plaine that we're looking at. Um, so there are several areas that we're looking at for the resettlement. The first 50 houses from the, from the, um, from the um, Venezuelans uh, will go towards the resettlement of the community of Dubic. Um, the 50 houses will be sufficient to, to resettle them. The Adventist Development Relief Agency, ADRA, has also come on board to assist in the resettlement efforts. ADRA, um, the Seventh-day Adventist um, um, body, has offered us, um, a, in the first instance, ten homes, um, two and three bedroom homes. Uh, they would build it at their cost and hand it over to the beneficiaries. And with the hope of taking this number to 25, um, and that is on top of the $50,000 which ADRA um, gave to us directly, I think it's billion, billion dollars, that's right, uh, 50000 Barbadian dollars, and also about 100,000 or so of supplies to various communities and, and families. Over 800 homes were destroyed during Tropical Storm Erica. The entire communities of Petit Savan and Dubic will be resettled. $5 million approved by Mexican government for the indoor facility has also been reallocated to resettlement efforts. Resettlement repairs and reconstruction costs exceed 91 million EC dollars. The OECS has taken a decision to help Dominican produce remain on the Northern Caribbean market. A meeting of ministers of agriculture held last week sought to develop a strategy to ensure Dominica retains its share of that market. Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules, made the announcement at a press conference on Friday. What was agreed was that we would do everything possible to ensure that Dominica produce is able to continue to get to the northern Caribbean markets like the USVI, BVI, Anguilla and these places. So efforts are being made and in discussions with the Prime Minister he has made certain determinations that will ensure that um, that process is facilitated because it is, it is important even while recovery is happening to keep as much economic activity and stimulus going as possible. The OECS Director General as well as Chairman of the OECS and Prime Minister of Grenada, Dr. Keith Mitchell, visited Dominica on Friday to see the devastation caused by Tropical Storm Erica. Meantime, the government of Dominica has taken a decision to buy agricultural produce from Delis and Boitica. This is an effort to boost the economy of the two communities which are still cut off from the rest of the country since the August 27th storm. The Honorable Prime Minister made the announcement at a press conference on Friday. We've just taken this in the cabinet in an effort to help the economy in Boitica and Delis that the government would seek to procure some agric agricultural produce from the farmers there. And so we, are we will be taking the markets to them rather than they trying to get to the markets and kind of get to the markets in an effort to, to assist them with their income and, and their agriculture. 
Now, Kimani, before we take a break, I'd just like to speak a little bit on the story that we read at the beginning of the news. Seven weeks post-Tropical Storm Erica, we have found out that the government have already identified a land for the resettlement of those who were affected. And, you know, in a country where, you know, we're so small and resources are so limited, I think it speaks a lot to the fact that government has already identified land to, you know, relocate these people who were so severely affected. Yeah, and we must say kudos to the government of Dominica because we know sometimes in certain countries when storms of that magnitude, yes. people are affected um, um, so, so greatly by storms such as this. Sometimes they end up waiting in, in, in staying in shelters for years, That's right? right? Mm -hmm. and, and without any permanent location, you know, being being um, given to them, That's allocated right. to them, and to see the government of Dominica being able to find or identify those lands, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's really good. And I think some of the areas are in the south of the island, mm -hmm. so that would speak well for for the people that were affected in Pitit Savan mm -hmm. and Dubik. That's right. It means they'll be able to continue their farming and fishing. If if this is where they eventually get settled in those areas, then it, it will it will be very good for them. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I think that the fact that it was found so quickly, you know, when the petrol casas that was that were donated by the government of Venezuela get here, it means that things will move very expeditiously. Very expeditiously. You know, yes. the houses, especially also from Adra, the yeah. Adventist Association, it means that the people will be moved into their houses and getting back into a sense of normalcy, which I think is so important. Yeah, and it will also be beneficial to them because I'm sure um, those men or uh, of these families that were affected, right. you know, they will get the opportunity to, to gain employment in terms of constructing um, those homes. That's and right. it would mean building new communities mm -hmm. as well. So we we're talking road infrastructure, we we're talking water, we we're yes. talking electricity. So right. all, all those things generate employment. I know, and I also wanted to touch on the fact that, you know, in terms of those areas as you said Pitisa and Dubic Bay Oil which is such a large yes. part of you know the culture of the community yeah. the fact that the places are identified are in such areas that they can get back to what they were used yes, to and I also yes. think that the Prime Minister mentioned that monies are going to be allocated in creating a new distillery, distillery yes. so all that I think is yes. just phenomenal yes excellent your hands. I am Adora Tuse, health educator from the Ministry of Health. Proper hand washing protects against the spread of many common illnesses and germs. Wash your hands often with soap and water or you may use a hand sanitizer. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect yourself. A message from the health promotion of the Ministry of Health. Welcome back. The tourism sector has embarked on a campaign to increase visitor arrival from the French West Indies. Director of Tourism Colin Piper explained the initiative during an interview with GIS News last week. As part of our continued efforts to get out there and um, generate awareness for the destination <clears throat> and also to turn the tide of some of the public sentiment um, that is still lingering in terms of the images of devastation. Uh, and in light of the fact that because of the challenges at Douglas Charles, mo more particularly to the um, unavailability of night landing, we recognize that the capacity of bringing people into Dominica by airlines is going to be diminished until night landing initially is um, restored. And so we look to where we can bring people in from uh, and the natural um, answer is the French West Indies, Guadeloupe and Martinique, and that is because of the ferry. We know that um, the ferries can hold up to 350 people. And so we are now focused on turning the turning public perception of the devastation in, in Dominica to um, more positive images. And as A team of French press held talks with key stakeholders last week to determine Dominica's readiness for business. Director of Tourism Colin Piper says this is all in an effort to send more positive images of Dominica 
to the French West Indies. Uh, we have RCI, Guadeloupe, Martinique. We have RFO, Guadeloupe, Martinique. We have France NT, Guadeloupe, Martinique. We have ATV, we have uh, Canal 10. So we have um, brought in the major media from Guadeloupe and Martinique to come and have um, interviews with um, people who can uh, provide them with stories and information about Dominica's recovery. So to date, um, I can confirm that um, an interview has been held with uh, Minister Douglas regarding trade and geothermal, with Minister Dr. Darrow in the Bagatelle constituency um, to chronicle his um, experience and, and, and also what's happening from a health perspective with uh, Minister Drago in, the, in his constituency at Castle Bruce to discuss what's happening with agriculture, um, with myself to discuss the state of the tourism industry, with a representative from the Dominica Hotel and Tourism Association, <coughs> um, so that they can get a view from the private sector what, is ha what has been happening, and also with the Division of Culture, so that they could get an impression of the um, independence celebration. We feel it's important that the population of Guadeloupe and Martinique hear from the officials of Dominica in terms of uh, what has happened, where we are in terms of the recovery, and um, where we can, um, uh, where we need their assistance. Uh, you know, I made a personal appeal from the people of Dominica that uh, um, since the government's um, resources will be redirected to infrastructure uh, um, and, and the like, that is now incumbent upon us as private sector, civil society, and citizens to create economic activity. And so from the people of Dominica, we have made an appeal to them to, to show their solidarity with Dominica and to come visit. And by visiting, you know, um, um, you know, and staying at a hotel and partaking in some of our activities, they're keeping people gainfully employed. They're keeping the hotels are able to buy agricultural produce, buy fish, and the like, and so we begin to generate the local um, um, economy. Piper says the trip will be followed by promotions. We are working with the Dominica Hotel and Tourism Association to put together a package of um, incentives, you know, discounts, um, and then we will go out to the radio in Guadeloupe, Martinique, um, and um, incent them to come as well. More than 430 aspiring doctors are one step closer to achieving that goal. The medical students were robed in their white coat at Thursday's white coat ceremony at the Ross University School of Medicine. Parliamentary representative for the Portsmouth constituency, the Honorable Ian Douglas, who is also Minister for Trade, Energy and Employment, has assured the students that they made the right choice in choosing Ross University. Ross University and Dominica has a long and great history of partnership. The school started back in 1978, around the same time, or the same year actually, that the island became independent. And both have grown from strength to strength. Like I said, this has been a great partnership. Even more so, the town of Portsmouth has embraced the school. And believe me, I know what I'm speaking about because I have been part of the institution, really, um, from its inception. Dean and Chancellor of Ross University, Dr. Joseph Flaherty, reminded the students that there should be no shortcuts in the field of medicine. You get into your clinical years, you're working. You're sometimes working around the clock. There's work rules. We try to make sure the rotations Dr. Schillingford, follow all the uh, GME uh, work schedules, but it is still a lot of work because when you leave the hospital, you really got to go home and read about the cases you just saw. That's the only way. You, there's no shortcut to medicine other than hard work and study and seeing patients. Then you get into medicine and you really work. You work for your patients. You work because you actually can make a difference. Not in the world in general, but for the patients you are seeing. If you really study what's going on with your patient and look at the drug-drug interactions and the complexity of his or her case, you're gonna be able to get advice or read or find new evidence in the literature that can help that patient. 
The only way that'll happen is hard work. Ross 2004 alumni and a keynote speaker, Dr. Anita Lal, had this advice for the freshmen. Ask questions. If you don't ask, you'll never know. And be determined. I would not be here today had I not kept pushing along. I always had the next three months planned out, and I still do today. I take each step at a time, plan ahead, but know what is in front of you and how you will excel in each step. Along the journey, there will be times of hardship, overwhelming stress and anxiety, sickness, personal distractions, whatever it may be, you have to always have your goal in mind. There, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Those that I have endure, endured, including my father having open heart surgery, my, my uh, brother and sister also got engaged, and other members of my family were diagnosed with cancer. In conclusion, don't give up, be real. You're all here for a reason. You want to become a doctor. You want to help and heal the sick. You want to make a difference in this world. Today, Monday, October 12th, more than 700 students of the Dominica Grammar School received their tablets. Honorable Minister for Education, Peter Saint-Jean, Minister for Information Science, Telecommunications and Technology, Kelva Daru, and the Chief Education Officer, Melina Fontaine, were all present at the ceremony. You have a choice to use the tablet to advance your learning, or you have a choice to use it to go a different path that will take you to the negative things in life. You are the only one who can make a choice. Your parents can assist you, your teachers, we are the Ministry of Education. We can only advise you at the end of the day, the choice is going to be yours. Make a wise choice and choose learning to advance your education, yourself, your parents, your families, and Dominica as a whole. Honorable Kelva Daru is very optimistic about the impact of the program despite the negative criticisms emanating from some circles. With this One Tablet Per Child program, our students in this country will have the opportunity to continue to keep up with the technology. I have listened to some of the naysayers of this program but rest assured, parents, that there are several positive and there are several enlightening activities that these tablets can be put to you good use. Some of our students will be engaged in group work activity, and they may have to come from various parts of the country to one location. But now that they have their tablets, their own personal tablets, they can remain at their homes and they are able to do their group works utilizing their tablets. This Form 2 student certainly agrees. I don't think we should look for the bad in things, we should look for the good, because not all children look for bad, because if our parents help us and supervise us when we use it, we will be able to use it for good. And how using it for our education can be using it for a negative way. The Honorable Minister for Education, Peter Senja, says the devices are part of the Dominica Labour Party's commitment to provide quality education to the youth of the nation. Over 3,000 students have already received their devices. Allow me to inform and advise that as of 1 o'clock this afternoon, a total of 3,100 and 89 secondary school students around Dominica will have received their tablets and we will continue throughout next week to ensure that every secondary school student and every student of the Dominica State College by the end of next week will have received the tablets that we promised because we believe that it is an important tool to ensure that you succeed. When the Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt announced the plan to give every secondary school and college student their own device, these must be the sort of remarks he anticipated from those who will make use of it. I feel happy because I can have a technology device that I can use to help with my schoolwork that can better so like if we have something during class and 
I don't really understand it. I can research about this. Well, I feel excited that we'll have a tablet to help us with our schoolwork. If we have like assignments and people are sick and so they can help give you the homework on email so you can still catch up with the rest of the class even though you are sick. I plan on using it to help me further my studies in school, to help me do homework and complete assignments that the teacher gives and to also help on my classmates if they need help. More schools around the city will receive the devices in the days ahead. And before we leave, here are two announcements. Registration is now open for the January 2016 CSEC examinations. Private candidates wishing to register for this examination can now do so at the CXC Local Registrar's Office, the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, or the Science and Technology Building on Cornwall Street during normal office hours. Private candidates are required to have their last registration or candidate number and a pictorial ID for registration. Registration closes on October 15th. The Bureau of Gender Affairs has extended its submission deadline for its drawing competition and photo video art competition to November 15, 2015. The theme is Stop That Violence. The competition is open to all primary school students and the photo video art competition is open to all. Monetary prizes will range from $75 to $500 EC. For more information, you can find a poster for the competition under the announcements page on our GIS website, news.gov.dm. And that's the English News. Mark Preston St. Louis is next with Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ces nouvelles en Creole. Non, moi, c'est Mark Preston St. Louis. Premièrement, Dominique a tapé bon moral pour travailler ensemble, développer le pays là, et puis mettre le coulin à terre. Parole ça là, sorti au ministère de la Culture, Honorable Justin Charles, quand Dominique a célébré 37 ans pour un pays indépendant. Nous, les gens, mettons à terre les couleurs politiques, rouge, bleu, jaune, green, whatever, couleurs là, et mettez ça à terre. Dominique, um, c'est ça nous tous. Storm Lavini il affecte tout le monde. Il pas affecte mon rouge avec mon green. Il affecte tout. So nous qu'a dit avec mon bleu. Nous qu'a dit mettez couleur à terre. Dominic c'est ça nous à nous ouais c'est nous ça bille. À nous tout mettez tête nous ensemble et faire ça nous ni pour faire. À nous pas continuer débiter um, qui mauvais contre le pays là. Parce que d'autres monde qui apprécient qu'on a un pays là. So nous tout pas ça qu'a décuyé la um, place là. Et on dit ça nous voulons. À nous, gouvernement, à um, éviter. Um, Ma opposition qui est qui qui c'est pas le reps um, gouvernement invité yo pour assister avec nous et vers où comment nous ça développer un um, pays là so nous avons demandé ces followers là of toutes ces différentes political parties là pour faire même bien à nous join ensemble blé join à nous parce que nous c'est dominique et dominique c'est ça nous alors nouvelle premier ministre guinard honorable docteur keith mitchell paye une visite officielle pour payer la semaine passée Premier ministre Michel visite le pays là pour montrer solidarité Guinard pour Dominique Sino Kulta Erika. Premier ministre Michel fait parole qui y a pour opportunité pour un si pour Guinard et puis aussi en la peine pour te apprendre ce qui passe en Dominique Sino Erika. Premier ministre a dit qu'il connaît bien clair ce qui a passé en Dominique parce qu'il a même expérimenté Kulta en l'année 2004. Premier ministre Dominique Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, oui, mais c'est Premier ministre Dr. Mitchell pour si poi. Premier ministre Skerritt dit Dominique et puis Guinard bien poi pour un long terme et puis il bien plaisir que Guinard comme outre si poi pour Dominique. Premier ministre Mitchell aussi visite West Coast Pays-là qui souffre dommage pour Erika. Guinard qui tient bagaille pour si poi Dominique à si le 7 novembre l'année sala. A la nouvelle, Sécurité sociale Dominique a avisé public là et spécialement travailleur pour servir l'argent à eux à de manière sostenable. Parole cela sur le député directeur Social Security Dominique Augustus Etienne, quand Dominique a observé le mois financier octobre l'année cela. Aussi, nous avons encouragé pour vous ça faire de euh, façon à valer si l'argent. L'argent, c'est quelque chose, il passe à rien, comme on dit, happiness, il passe à faire au content. Mais ça fait une différence, ça fait confortable. Si vous parlez de l'argent, vous dites que l'argent, c'est 
L'argent a gagné tout bitin, tout pas l'argent parce qu'il y a un certain bitin besoin pour ça vivre, la vie comme fait avant la paix. Comme ça, il faut nous recogniser que l'argent n'est valé avec nous n'est pour chérir l'argent, pas chérir pour nous pas ça dépenser, mais recogniser qu'il n'est valé avec manière de nous manager, qui est déterminé, qui va les valer nous recevoir de l'île, la manière de nous utiliser. Et puis finalement, le gouvernement a mis un peu de symposium à la récolte depuis Eric. Le symposium a mis un peu de résort atlantique en lance de mai, mardi, semaine de la semaine. Selon le directeur de la récolte, Eric Bromand, le national a mis un peu de important pour le secteur avancé depuis Eric, qui a bien dommagé le secteur de la récolte dominique. M. Broman dit, il y a des policiers à et puis aussi, il y a des habitants et d'autres stakeholders, ce qui est passé en secteur là. Broman dit, ça fait pour mettre un plan ensemble pour le secteur ça bien important, pour le secteur là, raison pour le symposium ça là. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour la nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Marc-Fosso saint Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. It's the independence festivities and usually around this time of year, avocados are in season. Besides enjoying this fruit in Dominica's traditional dishes, here's another reason why you should indulge. Avocados are a good source of B vitamins which help you fight off disease and infection. They also give you vitamins C and E plus natural plant chemicals that may help prevent cancer. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News Desk, I'm Kimani Senja and I'm Kadisha St. Louis. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.